We're here uh, with uh, Danny Legere of. Uh, can you tell us uh, your title? I'm president of QP New Brunswick, but I'm also uh, an executive member or part of the executive board of the New Brunswick Healthcare Coalition. Okay, and you're here today to... Well, we're here today to highlight, to put a spotlight on the fact that this is the last day or the expiration of the health accord. And uh, there are serious consequences, not just to New Brunswickers, but to all Canadians with what is about to happen or the significance today. The Harper government refused to negotiate with the provinces a new health accord. Instead, he chose to dictate what that would be. Uh, so we're here to put the spotlight on that. And the implications are for New Brunswick is that uh, we'll be losing three quarters of a billion dollars in federal funding over the next 10 years. Now that'll have huge consequences uh, to New Brunswickers, but there's also the same type of uh, cuts across the country. The, the father of Medicare, Medicare, Tommy Douglas, his vision was that all Canadians, regardless of whether you live in British Columbia, Ontario, Newfoundland, Labrador, or New Brunswick, uh, when you need to access the system, you would have equ equitable access no matter where you live. You would have access to, to health care regardless of your financial stature or your ability to pay. What we're seeing is a movement away from that and it's it's a very uh, sad day but it's a day that Canadians and New Brunswickers should be taking notice of and should be getting up in arms. They should really be upset over what's happening. More so, our provincial leaders, our governments, should be standing on a soapbox today screaming at the top of their lungs, but they're not doing that, uh, and that's also concerning. We're here at City Hall, and it's a, it's a not a gorgeous day. Blustery day. And your name is? Leslie Chandler. Hi, Leslie. Uh, Hi, Roy. Can you tell me why you're here? <clears throat> I am, I, I'd be happy to do that. I'm here to um, help uh, draw attention uh, and support the rally and draw attention to um, increasing concerns we have about um, uh, the future of health care in Canada as we know it, publicly funded, um, publicly delivered. Um, the Harper government is not signing on for a new period of time, so the health accord ends um, now uh, and there's no negotiations with the premiers for the next 10 years uh, and <clears throat> I heard this morning that uh, uh, that there's an indication from the federal government that they'll increase uh, funding to 2017 slowly uh, but after that there's no commitment uh, but of course that just sees them through the next federal election and uh, and then who knows uh, so it's uh, very tricky going forward with this government without any kind of commitment uh, and any kind of discussion with the premiers as all past prime ministers have done. I mean, the premiers round tables are, have been a given uh, in this country until um, the Harper administration. And what particularly concerns me is that the figure I've heard is a cut of $36 billion over the next 10 years. Uh, in health care funding and this is at the same time that uh, the current government has um, uh, been the overseer of 450 billion dollars in tax cuts at the federal in the federal purse uh, uh, so 45 billion dollars a year for the last 10 years uh, which is a total of 450 billion dollars of tax cuts coupled with $170 billion in, of untaxed wealth uh, in tax avoidance schemes, complex tax avoidance schemes uh, by, owned by Canadians that is not being taxed, uh, coupled further with corporations uh, at the trough. So the, the same corporations that are, are coming lined up with their hands out uh, for subsidies and forgivable loans and whatnot are the same corporations that uh, in many cases uh, have, have money offshore uh, tied up and untaxed. So, uh, you know, Canadians are, are being expected to um, uh, forego um, many things and uh, in along with pensions along with uh, food if you're living in the north and you're uh, a First Nations person who are now we have communities that going hungry uh, now the next thing on the chopping block is our Canada health care system and I don't accept it uh, at all